So, waiting, resting. It's not always easy, is it? Just because we know to rest in Christ doesn't mean that life doesn't happen. It doesn't mean that we don't have challenges that come our way. Doesn't mean that there aren't things that we have to take care of and or deal with. You know, we are in the world, right? Even though we're not of the world. But just because we're not of the world doesn't mean that we're not in the world having to deal with things. You know, we all know that we are in the world even though we're not of the world. Sometimes that includes, you know, I mean, things happen. Sometimes people get sick. Sometimes the unexpected happens. And... But what do you do in those times? The, it's during those times that the Lord allows these things to happen to press against your outer man, to continue to wear down your outer man so that your so that the outer man more cracks develop in it, so that the alabaster box, the fragrance of Christ that is within your position in your in your spirit, right? Of a believer, so that fragrance of Christ can come out even more and more and though we might not concede at the time God is doing something absolutely beautiful it's not always fun but God knows what he's doing and my prayer is just I would just continue to have childlike faith to trust him now I'm human right you know sometimes I get worried about different things or whatever but what do I do I renew my mind and it doesn't mean that I don't go to people for prayer. You know, we're not meant to do this Christian walk completely by ourselves. You know, we're meant to have people to walk with us, to pray with us. We bear each other, each other's burdens, right? So, um, so yeah, it's just, um, just kind of talking here. Um, it's been raining most of the day today. Um, but it's, I think it looks pretty out there now. It'll probably look really pretty once spring starts coming around. But uh, anyway, I know most of the country is like under extreme winter conditions. But in Georgia, we haven't gotten any snow or anything. Um, so anyway. Um, but yeah. So I said all that to say this. Um, I have a prayer request. Um... I'll leave it at that for now. God knows what it is. And I want God's perfect will to be done. Whatever that is. Whatever it happens to be. I want God's perfect will to be done. I want the fragrance of Christ to be realized. I want my outer man worn down. Because the more my outer man is worn down... The deeper the Lord opens my eyes to the to the deeper and deeper layers of identification truths. And so, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and pray right now. Lord, I just pray that you would just uh, be with those of us. For those of us who don't quite or who have not quite grasped identification truths, Lord, I just pray that you would just... Um, Open eyes, remove the veil, and Lord, I just pray, Lord, your perfect will will be done with this little prayer request I have. I just pray that whatever it takes to make the fragrance of Christ stronger, please do so, whatever it takes. No matter what you have to do, I just pray that you will just, whatever it takes to make that alabaster box break open, open even more within my spirit, Lord, so that your fragrance can flow. And I pray that, that you would just help all of us in our pursuit of identification trees, Lord, as we seek you daily. In Jesus' name, amen.